Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're gonna be going over big box custom themes. I'm gonna show you how to download them, get them installed, and configure some of them inside a big box. Now this does require a premium license to LaunchBox in order to access big box, and you'll also need an account over at the LaunchBox forums. I'll leave links in the description. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're gonna do is open up a browser and head over to the LaunchBox forums. From here, you're gonna sign in. We wanna to go to downloads. On the right hand side, we wanna choose big box custom themes. So there's a lot of great themes here. Some of the developers have left installation instructions inside of these files. Some of them haven't. The ones I'm gonna go over are pretty simple to install. They have everything included that you need to get up and running. First one being by Critical Sid. This is Eon MQ7. We're just gonna go into this file here. As you can see, he left an about this file. You can go ahead and read through it. There's also a how to install. Just download the archive and extract it to LaunchBox themes. Go to the plugins folder inside of the extracted folder and right click the dill files. Choose properties, click on unblock. Now I've never had to do this. I've never had to unblock anything, but you might run into this. So he left the how to instructions right here. He's also included a weather plugin. He shows you how to change the location of your temperature. So by changing the location, he means your specific location. If you're in New York, you can change it to New York. So when you open it up, you'll see the weather in the top right hand corner. This is a pretty cool add on for this theme. I really dig this one. We're going to click on download this file. We're going to back up and grab a couple other ones real quick. Another one I really like is nostalgia. Phil's Doodles Retro-Rama. This is definitely one I want to show you guys how to install. We're going to download this file. Retro-Rama version 1.2. You definitely want to get the newest version. So there's not many instructions here written out, but this does include a specific font you need to install, and it's located inside of the folder we're downloading. So go through here, find a couple themes that you like, you will have to experiment to find the exact ones you really, really want to use. I'm going to close this down because I have a few downloaded on my desktop in a folder called LB Themes. I'm going to open it up. All of these are zip. I have Eon MQ7, Nostalgia, Retro Rama, and Y2 Guru, plain and simple. I'm just going to extract each one of these. Now, if you have WinRAR, you can do them all at one time. You want to extract them to their own folder. We're going to open up Eon MQ7. So inside of here, we have images, platforms, clear logos. If you want to use a certain clear logo pack, you can always just drop it right in here. I actually have some that I downloaded, Dave's clear logos and minimal. I got these from the forum. I'm going to leave the stock clear logos with this theme here. We're gonna go to nostalgia, make sure we don't need any fonts. There is no font folder in here, so we should be good to go with this one. Retro-Rama, install this font. So first thing we need to do is install this font to make it look correct. And we should be good to go with the Retro-Rama theme. So I'm gonna snap this over to the left-hand side and I'm going to open up my LaunchBox directory. My LaunchBox directory is actually on an external hard drive, but yours should be located under Users, your username, LaunchBox. Inside of here, we have a Themes folder. Now there's a few included themes here. Default, Critical Zone, City Hunter 2. We want to place these folders inside of here, but we want to make sure we're getting the correct folder. So with Retro-Rama, when I open it up, I just want to drag and drop the Retro-Rama folder over here. Nostalgia, same thing, make sure it is the root folder here. Eon MQ7. And Y2 Guru, plain and simple. Now if we take a look at Y2 Guru, there's also a font we need to install. Install. And there we have it. 
So now we have some themes installed. We need to enable them inside a big box. Let's go ahead and start up big box. All right, so here we are in big box. This is the default theme with background videos enabled. We're gonna press B on our controller or escape on our keyboard. We wanna go to options. From here, we're gonna go to views. At the very top, you can see your theme set. We're on default, nostalgia, retro Rama, Y2 Guru, Eon MQ7. Now I'm gonna choose Eon MQ7. Default startup view. I like mine on platforms. You can change this if you'd like. Games list view. Now I've seen some older themes require a specific games list view, but a lot of these newer themes aren't using that method anymore. I leave mine to vertical wheel one. For your platform list view, you can change this if you'd like. I believe he recommends changing this to platform two. Now there's a lot of other settings in here. You will have to experiment to get the exact look you like, but for now we're gonna press B on our controller or escape on our keyboard. Now we wanna scroll down to image cache. So I always refresh all images. As you see, it just changed for me. We'll go to refresh all images just to make sure we're grabbing everything out of this new theme folder. We're gonna press B. And we're now running a new theme. This is Eon MQ7. We're gonna go into Super Nintendo. And I really do like this theme. It looks really good. So as you can see, I still have the background videos on here. I didn't change that, but I can, so I'll press B. Options. Videos. And I'm gonna uncheck Use Platform Background Videos. This will now display them in the foreground. We're gonna back up. And this is the way I like this theme. This is how I think he intended it to look. Really nice theme, so I definitely recommend trying this one out. We're gonna go back and change to another theme. We'll press B. Options, Views, Theme. And we're gonna change this to, let's say, Y2 Guru, plain and simple. Default startup view, I like platforms. Like I mentioned, you need to experiment with this to see exactly what you like. We'll back up one, scroll to image cache, and refresh all images. Now we're gonna back up. And this is a really nice theme. As you can see, he included new clear logos with the theme, so it's a little bigger to download, but it's totally worth it. We'll scroll over and check out Super Nintendo. And that's pretty much it. We now have a new theme installed. So you will have to find a theme that you really like. I love this one because it has those round button clear logos there. They just look amazing on this setup. You're also gonna have to experiment with the views, depending on what you like. If you like vertical, horizontal, it's really personal preference. And I always recommend refreshing all images. And I'll show you what happens if I don't refresh all images. I'm gonna go back to the default theme. We're coming from the Y2 Guru theme. Views, default, it's gonna change almost everything, except the clear logos. Some people might like this though. Nonetheless, we can always refresh our images. B, options, image cache, refresh all images. Now when we back out, we'll have the stock default clear logos. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. We really appreciate you watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe to the Launchbox channel for more great content. I'm also going to leave links to the download section on the Launchbox forum so you can download your favorite theme from there. Like always, thanks for watching.